Alright, so, story time. So, recently, last week, I got scammed by a dude named Smodge. And I had just filed a police report on him today. But, um, it was unfortunate. It was about $80 because the first time he wanted $30 for, um, a ticket. Second time he wanted $50 for a, uh, deposit for the lounge. I thought it was really, really weird. But... I was just like, you know, whatever, he knows me, I know him, I don't think he'd be stupid enough to do something like that. He absolutely did some shit like that, and he scammed me out of the money. So, what I ended up doing was I gave him this money, and then when the day of the event happened, after I had uh, gave my sister over to my dad to take her home, because she had to go home for the day, uh, I was waiting around for about an hour for, um, you know, for him to show up, and he never did. It got to the point where I was getting impatient, so I had asked um, the owner, the manager, you know, uh, is there reservations for Samaj? And he said no. And that was instantly when I had, you know, figured out, this light is annoying, sorry. That's instantly when I had figured out that um, he scammed me. He scammed me out of $80. Um, I was devastated, and I kept texting them texting that day, because he told me to text him, like, the address and everything, where I was at. I never sent him an address, but I told him, I sent him a picture of the location I was at that had the logo on it and everything, and he never showed up. I mean, he never, he never showed up, but he never responded to the text. And ever since that day, I've been calling him and texting him over and over and over again, and he has said absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Um, so at this point, the police report is filed. I think I can get, like, a private investigator at this point. I don't know much about filing police reports, but I have filed that report in him, so that's going to be going through. So, yeah, this nigga will be going down. <laughs> he will be going down. He will be going down, 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 down. I just don't get people like this. Like, why do you do stuff like this? Why do you scam, like... Of all things to do with, with money or to obtain or ways to obtain money, you scam? That's crazy. I just don't get it. I don't get it. That's the worst thing you can do as a human being. Scam somebody out of eighty dollars. And not even to mention there was things that was weird that weren't adding up with this guy. He would ask me for money for like um the carnival. Shit like that. He would ask me for the car money for the carnival. And he would ask me to, like, pay $60 for a carnival. Or he would ask me for money, like, or, or would say, Oh, I know a lady that you can pay $300 to that can get your credit wiped for, um, $300. Because I'm obviously going through a time in my life where, like, I have a little bit of a CC debt. And I want to get that paid off. And he's recommending the debt. He's, rec he's recommending for me to pay her to sweep the debt off so he can take the money from me and run off and he would have gotten more but I, I felt something was up with that but I was like whatever I'm just gonna just you know do the karaoke or whatever because it was something I was passionate about he took advantage so he's going down as I mentioned earlier but yeah that's just a quick update I don't want to keep you here for too long just wanted to talk about that um yeah put this up on YouTube have a great day and stay tuned for my tech and streams.